Skyrim legendary playthrough so here we're gonna be trying to get the dragon stone from Bleak Falls Barrow and I've got to try to really focus more on sneaking because I mean there's not really a way I could have done it too much before but it looks like inside of here I might be able to so let's get rid of I put this on my favorites didn't I let's get rid of this for now and let's see if I can sneak up on any of these guys. This is usually a really good spot. I think I can use that for potions. So this is generally a really good spot to just kind of uh, shoot an arrow at those guys and then hide. But I'm not using arrows. Let's see what they're going to be doing. I think sometimes just sitting here will get my sneak up. Yep, there we go. So that's good to know. Because I kind of need it up, you know. Uh oh. That sucks. Oh dear goodness. Oh my gosh, holy crap, that scared me. And she still didn't see me. Wow, my sneaking's actually pretty dang good then. <laughs> Alright, that guy's gonna terrify me. Yeah, alright, let's load that up. Oh, okay. Yeah, I would say that that is, in fact, all I've got. Oh. So I'm gonna aim for about... 150 health and then work on stamina a little bit. Where'd the chick go? I agree! I am trying to fight for you! I haven't joined the storm cloaks yet, but I will! Oh my, you're beating the crap out of my little cat character. And now the weak one is gonna be flinging arrows for me like a coward from across the room. Oh, how'd you heal? Don't eat a potion. And you're dead. Got a strafe, like an annoying, stupid, uh, like, like those annoying people in uh, multiplayer games that you can never hit because it just won't sit still. And you are dead. Ha ha ha. Alrighty. So let's level up here, get my health up, because I'm only at 130, I don't really need to carry a whole lot yet. And can I go on over back to sneaking? Where is it? I probably passed it. Smithing, uh, one-handed, light armor, snake, there you are. Can't get that up yet, okay. Well, let's get one-handed up then, because that is what I'm using. I think one-handed was closer to sneak when I went to the left. Yeah, because it's right there. <laughs> I always do that on this stupid skill tree. Okay. Let's get that up. So, you know, 20% isn't really too much when I'm only doing 8. So, what's that? 8 divided by 2, right? So is that, is that 15 or 14 damage I'm doing now? Is that how the math works? I don't know. I mean... No, because that would be half. What am I thinking? It'd be 8 divided by 4, so it'd be 2. So I'm only doing 10 damage. But anyway, let's continue on. This dungeon really isn't too difficult, which it shouldn't be. I mean, there's no reason it should be. And these urns usually have some decent amounts of small chunks of gold. That almost made me jump because I'm like pretty sure that that was dead and why the heck was it moving? <laughs> okay. If I remember there... Okay, maybe I, I don't think I remember, but I remember something there. Something's like, no, I guess not. I thought maybe there was an urn with something cool there, but it doesn't look like it. I really hope my narrations are loud enough here. I may have to turn them up a little bit, but that's okay. 
Give me the skeever tails. Let me get all of that awesome potion making ability. Okay, more potions. Stamina, not really. I should probably use those more, but anyway. Linen wrap, totally useless, but is kind of worth something, I guess. Okay, there's yet another bandit. I don't know if there's more than one in here. No. Don't turn around. Don't turn around. Oh, you're dead. Wow, you are nowhere near dead, are you? You know, I'm kind of feeling like I should have let him kill himself when he pulled that lever. Because it looks like he could have done some decent damage on his own, but uh, it looks like I'm going to be doing all the hard work now. But man, that got my sneak up pretty dang quick, and that leveled me up a whack load. How much, like, how much sneak did I get up doing that? Oh, yep, you win. My dagger is a lot shorter than your sword is. You're actually not doing too much damage to me either, so that's kind of nice. Are you a woman? Oh, you're- you're- are you? What? I don't know what you are. You made a grunting noise or something. No, I think you're just some really ugly hag man. Yeah, you're a man. Ouch. Okay, I need to pay more attention to my health. Up. Rise the red bar. Rise. Oh my goodness, you're right behind me. What are you doing there? Get away from me, buddy. The other problem in this game is when your health- it looks like you have some health left, but if the enemy's strong enough, they can do a finishing move on you, and then you'll be screwed. Alright, there we go. Oh, I want that torch, although the game isn't really dark enough to need one these days. It's kind of funny, you don't really need a torch or a light source in any game if you just turn the brightness up enough. <laughs> but there is definitely a dungeon for- oh my goodness. It's for Dawn Guard. Yep, there's definitely a dungeon there where you need you need a torch because it's dark. Okay, snake, snake, whale. Not really sure why they would lock it up like that. I mean, that's really the easiest lock to unravel in the history of locks, I think. But I'm not an ancient nor to settler, so what do I know? Makes me question though, if they can, like the ancient Nords could build stuff like this all the time, why can't they build it like this now? Hey, pickpocket goes up. You know, all the books in this game, pretty much every single one are dang awesome. Amethysts are good, they get your smithing up a lot, or they're worth a lot of money. I guess we'll grab that and the soul gems. That is, of course, empty. Take another soul gem. I gotta go find soul trap from somebody. Okay. And let's just start sneaking again. Okay, that was not what I wanted to happen there, but... <laughs> Sneak on down into a den of skeevers. These things aren't too bad, but they can kill you if you're not careful, as you notice here. I thought I could tank all that damage, but it looks like I absolutely cannot. Where'd he go? There you are. Let's grab the meat. You know, it'll be kind of amazing when we can play this game on the Nintendo Switch. Oh, that thing had an amethyst. What the heck? <laughs> What's a skeever doing with an amethyst? Alright. I should have got my health up to get my restoration, whatever. Uh, let's go back to one-handed. No, you know what? Let's get some light armor now. I mean, there's some pretty good stuff here we can get. Unhindered is kind of nice. Uh, Windwalker is also really good. So that one's pretty dang awesome too, I think. Yeah. 
So, as far as other skills go that I want to go for, I doubt I'm going to be pickpocketing too much. But alchemy is going to be pretty important. And so is enchanting. Let's look at enchanting really quick. I need to, like, oh, I should have kept those stupid mage robes instead of selling them. Dang it, stupid. There we go. Menus are terrible for PC. Anyway, uh, new enchantments are stronger, and then of course we get skill enchantments on armor or better. Don't go that way. Like I said, they're horrible on PC. Uh, soul gems give extra magicka for recharging. I guess that's good. Anyway, so I'll need to get enchanting too. There's just a lot of stuff I'm going to have to do. We'll see how much I really want to do all that. <laughs> Alright, so this looks like a poison and a scroll of fireball. So that's neat. Not really sure what I'm going to use the poison for. I mean, potions. Target is paralyzed. So, ah, that guy. Okay, I just want to see if I use this poison. Oh, okay. You know, an interesting thing. I have like 200 hours in Skyrim over that, and I've never used a poison before. So, let's do that. Don't really know why I never have, but. Let's, let's just, you know, give that a try. Okay, so we're going to be running into uh, Shelob here. I hope that didn't get rid of the poison. There she is. Okay. Let's see if she'll turn around. That thing is disgusting. Oh, it sees me. And I'm detected. Okay. And let's pull out the scroll of fireball. Which does absolutely nothing. <laughs> Holy crap. Oh my goodness. Whoa. Okay, so that's right there is kind of exactly what I was talking about when I s picked up this gigantic thing and said that I'm probably going to need it later. <laughs> so let's try that out. That fireball, I really thought that fireball, I hope that fireball would do way more damage, but it did nothing. Alright, so let's take a look around here. I just want to make sure there's nothing else, because that stupid thing killed me in like two hits. Like, holy moly. All right, what do you have, skeleton? You just have gold. So I don't know how I'm gonna have to. I'm, like, if that thing is just gonna kill me in two hits, I'm gonna have to leave and come back. I guess there's not a whole lot else I can do. But uh, let's find out. Wow, he saw me right away that time. Oh wait a minute! I don't think, I don't think he can fit through here. I think I remember doing this my first time. Or. Hold on. There's like a thing there. Yeah, he can't fit through that. Okay. So, is there like a lever I can pull? Hmm. There's some way to open that thing up. That I know for sure. So, I don't know if that'll kill it. It'll probably help a lot. Okay, let's go back to the potions, poison this thing. That's nice. Keep it away from me. You, Just trying to here. see. There's got to be something, right? Is the lever inside of this place? Oh, 
Oh, there's a chest inside of there. That's pretty cool. Because that gate can open up. If I could just find the lever, I can kill it that way. Or if there's a button or something, I mean, any of that. Ouch. Wow. My goodness. Alright, let's look backwards a little bit. So I've never had to kill the spider this way, because there's no way I could kill that thing head on. So I definitely have to drop it down that pit, but I have no idea where... Like, I, don't, I have no idea how to drop it is the issue here. So, can I clear this out of the way? Well, that does is reveal the chest. I'm not seeing any lever here. Or even a pressure plate, I mean anything. I mean, that right there almost looks like a pressure plate, but it isn't, so. Okay, well, let's poison this thing again. Come here. Don't die. Where are you going? Yeah, come on over here. That's what I thought. Save your life, Frodo, and this is how you repay me? You're a disgusting person. Look what happens. Arville's journal. I love that journal. Okay, seriously, though. Uh... Is there really no way to, like, lower that thing down? Because I feel like there should be. Like, I feel like there should most definitely be a way to open up that stupid gate. But, to my immediate knowledge, I see no way of doing that. So, I don't know. I guess I'm just going forward because I don't need to kill that thing, but it would be kind of nice to get all the garnets and stuff that's in there. Alright, whatever. Guess I can quick save here and he can just stay back there. Okay. He can see me from there, like really? <laughs> I guess if he has spidey senses. Oh, and now we're running into our first dragger. I actually really freaking hate these places because you never know who's going to pop up. I mean, it's pretty obvious this is a stupid freaking dragger who needs to wake up and die. And he'll probably wake up the others, but that's okay. I think if I chase that guy, like you're supposed to chase him into here and he steps on that pressure plate and that's what kills him. Yep, they're all up now. So, let's do what I've done before. Dang it. Oh! Oh! There we go. Yep, that worked pretty well. <laughs> That killed one of them. I think that killed one at least. Woo! Oh, run a little bit. Okay, heal. And you're dead. Okay. 
No big deal. I'll take the steel and gut. And you know what? I'll take the axe too. Sell that. Wow, that one got flown all the way over here. So I may need to be doing that with more of these guys. There's one right here. Yeah, uh, definitely doing that with you, Mr. Restless. Oh dear. Wow, stop doing that. Holy crap. My gosh. Ugh, did I quick save? I don't think I quick saved. Yeah, I'm all the way over here. Dang it. Oh no, I'm here. Okay, I did a quick save. Okay. Of course, he somehow woke up, but whatever. Come here, buddy. We're both gonna have to accept this. Oh, that didn't work again. You have to walk this way if you want to kill me. Ah! <laughs> Yeah, that'll happen. Okay, let's just see if I can get him to run over it. Okay, I am a genius because I did quick save. That's good. Let's see if I can actually sneak up on him. I mean, I don't know what else saw me besides him. There we go. Let's see if I can get him to walk over it on his own. Yep, that helps quite a bit, actually. And you're dead. Good, good, good. Wow, we are at 22 minutes for this. That went on way longer than I thought it would. That means I'm actually going to be splitting this particular video up into two videos, which means the previous one isn't going to make, uh... Why doesn't it say empty then? Anyway, the previous one isn't going to have the ending that I normally have. So, anyway, that's going to be it for this video. We will continue on in whatever part becomes the next part, because I've messed them all up now. And be sure to check out the playlist in the description down below if you want to find all the other parts to this legendary Skyrim playthrough. And I will continue on in the next part.